And new at five local communities continue to recover two years after a devastating tornado tore through the area. Georgia's strongest tornado in a decade hit Heard and Coweta counties on March 25th, 2021. And the twister damaged thousands of buildings and the cleanup cost millions of dollars. And we're going to take a live look right now at the city of Noonan, just west of the courthouse. And you can see here the homes very, very well because a lot of the trees that used to be there were knocked out. The tree line is along the back of these streets you see there, and you can also see a lot of new roofs on these homes because the storms ripped them off. But the landscape has changed up a lot. The city of Noonan is showing progress each day following the natural disaster and 11 Alive's Joe Ripley reports on Noonan High School's efforts to rebuild following this destruction. I see water and wind and then I'm running down the stairs and as soon as I hit the top stairs, a tree falls like and hits the house. Two years ago seems like yesterday for Jackson Watley, a senior at Noonan High School. And that's when the tree was gone. Georgia's strongest tornado in a decade destroyed his home. He says a matter of seconds likely saved his family's life. My house got destroyed and then like we didn't have anywhere to stay for like a few weeks. So we had to go like move in a hotel for like three, four weeks. It was jarring and the pictures looked like there was a transformer on our gym just with all the metal. The twister destroyed more than a dozen buildings at Noonan High School. English teacher Kristen Johnstone says the community bond here helped this school recover. I mean, all of education's having a hard time coming off of COVID and then this was a whole different level. Um, but our kids are really resilient and we have a community that really cares about each other. School officials tell me construction on the athletic complex will be wrapped up later this year and the main academic building here at Noonan High School is set to be completed by next fall in all about 270,000 square feet of new space. This is one of the single largest investments in Coweta County School System history over a hundred million dollar project to replace the oldest school in the county. School officials say insurance coverage along with federal and state aid and a local special sales tax will fund the project. We're making decisions now that are going to impact this community and generations to come in this community for the better part of the next 75 years. It's a community that will never forget the destruction and the lessons that followed. Can't take anything for granted. It, like, it goes away in a second. You can't take anything for granted. In Noonan, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News. It certainly is good to see them getting back to normal, but we know it's been quite some time and they're still oh, working has. at it. And there are finally, I mean, all the roofs replaced, but as you saw in that live picture at our Noonan camera, the trees are gone, but yeah. it's a resilient community and it's just, it's sad that it knocked down the high school and they had to completely, well, not knock down it, but it became structurally, the integrity of that building yeah. had mm -hmm. to be replaced. Mm -hmm. So.